so. So. Chat. There's been some new news in the Guild Wars 2 world. Some exciting developments. Let's take a looky loo. First off, a message from the Guild Wars 2 team about the Shining RE8 weapons. Now, I did not know what the Shining RE8 weapons were. It turns out, if you had actually done the Lunar Event Festival meta achievements, there were some rewards you would get after about five days or so. I might have the numbers wrong. I only did them the one day. I decided they weren't for Dennis. That's just me. However, if you did do them, you would find that the reward at the end was a weapon that was a weapon that was already in the game, but it was yellow. People were very disappointed. People were very disappointed, especially after the Christmas skins were unique and one of a kind. Um, if you never saw those, they looked like gift wrapped versions of the weapons. Like the weapon was still wrapped up in wrapping paper and ribbons and stuff. Very fancy, not practical. So the Guild Wars 2 team said, hello everyone. We've collected your feedback on the Shining Aureate weapons introduced to Lunar New Year and acknowledge we missed the mark on this set. We'll update them soon with improved textures and additional effects. We're working on getting this update into the January 28th release and any weapons you've already unlocked will be spiffed up at that time. Thank you for your feedback. And then they posted this video. I'm going to mute it because that's not important. But if you look, they're not just yellow, they now have some glows. So your swords are now lightsabers. Your axes are now... Axe sabers. But all of the lunar weapons are just getting kicked up a notch. And then what follows is many people on the forums going, Great success. Good job, lads. Next post. This thread is called, How do you feel about the imminent balance patch and why? Now, we do not have a lot of information about the imminent, bal imminent, imminent balance patch. There is a poll where you could put very hopeful. I'm teaming with Dread. There's a what? <laughs> we do not yet know what's in the patch, but what we do know is they are changing a lot. When Bin P and Cal became the new lead developers, these, these are people that were on the forums and they were listening to us and talking with us, but they did not have a lot of power. Now they are going mad with power and they are changing many things. Not two weeks after they became in charge, they nerfed Rampage and divided its damage by 200%. Muck approves, Dennis approves. Now they are doing the big balance patch overhaul, changing many, many things. Scrolling down, in this thread there was a post today by Ben P at ArenaNet. I'm sorry. I said today. This this was actually a little while back, but the thread got updated today, which brought it to my attention. He says, It is going to be somewhat chaotic for a while, and I'm sure there will be overlooked things or unintentional problems. The number of changes is so large that all possible interactions are impossible to predict. Our goal is to be able to respond relatively quickly to issues that come up, and there will probably be, need to be a decent-sized follow-up release to continue to refine. Balance is a long-term commitment, not a one-release solution. To this I say... I approve. He is saying flat out, we're not perfect, this is a huge patch, we're trying to fix a lot of problems, there's probably going to be some glitches. Please be patient with us. And we'll be patching those out as fast as we can. I'm completely okay with that, chat. I encourage you to be okay with that as well. They're, they're trying to fix a lot of issues. And there's a lot of traits and talents in the game. There's going to be some unforeseen, like, oh my god, this you know, A plus B plus C is OP. <gasps> you know, but we, we give them that information. Hopefully they'll fix it within a few days. I bet it wasn't tested either. I think the correct thing to say is that their testing team is a lot smaller than the 1.7 million active player base probably swag. So they might test it with their team of a few hundred people, but if the thing happens every one in a thousand times or every one in 10,000 times, it may never come up in testings. That is the sad truth of customer or working in tech. Now. I wish they had a public test realm, a PTR, similar to WoW and many other games, because then they could get our help with this kind of stuff. However, the fact is that they do not, and this is what we're left with. 
What's the link for that post? I will provide! Let it never say that Dennis does not give, but Dennis also taketh away. Next post in the Dennis News. There was a thread called Suggestions and Quality of Life Ideas, and I should refine that. There were many, many, many threads on the forums on, hey, you should, you should, all over the place. And August uh, 20, okay, this was another thread that's been out for quite some time, but there was updates in this thread today, and so it was merged. Um, and they have merged many of the quality of life suggestions that people put on the forums into this one thread. You can say this, the thread actually started 2018, and it is, is it over 39 pages now? Yeah, so if you ever have an idea for something that you want to put in there, if you didn't already know that this thread was there, you can go on the forums and make suggestions, and they are reading them. There's the link. Have a looky loo. And lastly, one last bit of ANET Dennis news is the... Actually, I think this is the wrong link. Is this... Wait, was that the last one? Hang on a second. Let me see if I had something else. Dennis might have made an error. Hang on. They said there was another dev tracker. That's March. The red ones are from the devs. 4.45 a.m. Did they just necro a post? Is that what this is? It appears Dennis was fooled. This is a post from a few years ago that Inculpatus necroed at 12.45 a.m. and it popped up on the dev tracker I was using to find posts from the developers. Shenanigans, chat. Absolute shenanigans. So, that concludes the updates from ANET. I am so, let me pull this back up here. I am so, so, so excited about this. This right here. The big patch. The big patch where rangers get buffed, they delete warriors, mesmers only make one clone and it does zero damage, uh, weavers have their legs broken, just mm, everything. So excited. See y'all next.